what's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at my arrangement of God as a Woman by Ariana Grande. I'm going to be teaching you those three parts, the verse, the pre-chorus and the chorus. If you haven't seen the full version, check it out linked above. Otherwise, let's get started. Alright guys, for this song we're in drop D tuning. So we'll get your E string down to a D. Once you've got that, grab a capo, stick it on the 4th fret. Should sound like this. And then we're good to go. So I'll put the tabs along the bottom for you. This is going to be the 1st string, this is going to be the 6th string. This song starts with the chorus and the first bars like this. So that first chord is here. It's like an A minor, but you want to add your fourth finger onto the third fret second string. And the first part using that chord is like this. So from this shape, we're going to hit two, three, and five together. Then move down to the first string and the fourth string together. Then the third string by itself. At that point, take your fourth finger off the third fret there, and then hit the second string on the first fret here. At that point, we change chord. And we're just going to put second finger up onto the second fret of the sixth string. Hit that one along with third and fourth open. Then we're going to come back to the melody here. It goes like this. So starting on the second fret, second string, sorry, that's going to be a hammer on first fret to third fret. So I hammer on with my first finger and my fourth finger. Then I hit open first. Back to the second string, you've got third fret pull off first, hammer on third, all in one movement. Then second fret on the third string. So that bar slowed down is like this. When you hit that note there, the, I like to do a little bend, so it sounds like this. For the next bar, it's going to sound like this. So this is quite similar. We're back to this first chord again. It's like an A minor, so you're going to hit third and fifth together, followed by fourth on the second fret as well. Then we've got another melody line here. This one goes like this. So the melody line, I'll just teach you that, is on the second string, first fret to third fret, open first. 2nd string, 3rd fret back to 1st fret, pull off, then put your finger back on the 3rd fret, 2nd string, open 1st, 2nd string again, 3rd fret, pull off to 1st fret, 2nd fret on the 3rd string, and then open 3rd. So that slowed down is like this. And again. So in the middle there, we also need to hit those notes that we hit in the previous bar as well, with the second fret on the sixth string. So they come in at this point. I'll play it for you. So after you've done the first hammer on on the second string and the open first, then they come in just as you do the pull off. 
So you'll be able to see that on the tabs below. So that bar slowly. Coming into the next bar. So for this bar, you want to get straight into this shape. So I've got two fingers here, second fret, third and fourth, and then third finger is up for the bass note, third fret, sixth string. So holding that shape, you want to hit three and six, followed by two. That's followed by four, three, two, but on the first fret, second string. So you want to move your first finger down there to reach that. At that point, take your second finger and get it up for the second fret sixth string bass note. Same bass note as the last two bars at this point. And then we've got the melody here which is... So that's open, third, and then hammer on, open third to second fret, open second, third string again, still in the second fret, open second again, and then open fourth. Last bar of the chorus. So this one, starting on this chord here, you've got your first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, third string, fourth, uh, third finger, fourth fret, third string. So from that shape, you want to hit two, three, and six together. Six is open. As you play those, you want to hammer on the second string first fret to the third fret here. Then you've got a third fret on the fourth string, which you should be holding there. And then we've got a quick hammer on and pull off. Like that in like a triplet motion. So that hammer on and pull off is gonna be one to zero, back to one on the second string. Up to that second fret, sixth string bass note. Then we've got another triplet. So that's going to be open second, second fret third, open second. And then second fret third twice. So let's play that bar again. And that's going to repeat once more, and that's the end of the chorus. Alright guys, so now we're into the verse. I think the chorus is probably the hardest part of the song, so hopefully this should be a little bit easier. The first bar is all based on an A minor chord. It sounds like this. So, once you've got this A minor, we're going to hit the bass note, along with like a thump on the body of the guitar with the heel of your hand. Once you've got that, still holding this A minor shape, you're going to get 4, 3, 2. But when you hit that second string there, you want to do a percussive flap on the top strings. So they're going to be on the second and the fourth beat of each bar. So once you've hit that with the second string, you're going to hit the second string three more times by itself. Then you can take your fingers off. 2 and 5 together, open, then we're moving right up to the 12th fret for a harmonic on the 3rd string, so just rest your finger lightly and then pull away, let it ring out, then come back down for the 4th beat, so we've got another slap, and you want to try and hit this note at the same time, 2nd fret, 3rd string, then get your 3rd finger, put it underneath on the 2nd fret, 3rd string, 
and hit three and four together. So that's the chord we're ending on. The second bar of the verse is going to be exactly the same, but that chord that we end on is going to be this one instead. So instead of two and two, it's going to be two and three. The third fret is on the fourth string. So we want to hold those two notes in this shape. So this is like an F, but because we're in drop D, we've got to move up two frets here. So we've got first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, third string, second fret. Third finger is going to be on the bass note. So that's going to be third fret, sixth string. And then your fourth finger is going to be underneath, also on the third fret, on the fourth string. So we're going to end the second bar with that shape on the third and fourth strings. So let me play the first two bars together. Next bar sounds like this. So that's largely the same, same pattern. At this point, we're not doing a harmonic, you'll notice, it's just open third. And then we're coming down, hammer on. Or you can just play second and third. This is on the fourth string. We're going second fret to third fret. The next bar is a little awkward to play. It's going to be a lot of pull-offs, so we're coming down open 6, 3rd fret 5th, 2nd fret 4th, then we start a run of pull-offs. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pull-offs on the 3rd fret to the 2nd fret on the 4th string. So for the first one, we do a slap at the same time. Then we do one by itself. Then we shift position really quickly to this. Use your second and third fingers instead. And use your first finger for the bass note, which is now second string, sixth fret. Uh, sorry, other end. Second fret, sixth string. So you do one pull off with that. Then you do another one by itself. Another one with the slap. And another one by itself. So that one's going to take a little bit of practice. Once you've got that, we're just repeating that all again, and then we're into the uh, pre-chorus. Okay, so for the pre-chorus, um, I don't follow the melody exactly, because it's very quick, the same note, so it'll be a lot of kind of like tremolo picking. It would sound something like this. Uh, it didn't sound very good for a solo guitar arrangement, so I changed it slightly, slowed it down a little bit. Kind of made it sound like this. So it's a little bit more chilled out. Um, the first bar is all A minor, just like before. We're going to start with this pattern. Five, four, three, two, with the slap. Three, four. After that part, we've got some pull-offs. The first pull-off is going to be part of a finger roll. So add your finger, your fourth finger, to the third fret second string. And do a finger roll on the second, third, and fifth string. So just like that. As you do that, pull off. Then put your finger back on for another pull-off on the same string, second fret, third fret to first fret. Sorry. Then another pull-off with the slap. Then put your finger back onto the third fret, but this time don't do the pull off, just go straight to open first. Then you just repeat that bar again, exactly the same. Then we're doing the same thing but with a different chord, this one, that you should remember from the verse. It's like the F. 
but with the third fret six string bass note. So literally the only thing I've got different there is instead of the fifth string bass note, it's a sixth string bass note on the third fret. And this note's going to be different here, but it's pretty much exactly the same. The last bar is different, it sounds like this. So it's pretty easy, it's just one chord, this one, it's just second fret, third and fourth. So when you're holding that chord, you want to hit five, four, three, two with a slap, five, five and two, five again, then two and three, slap, two and three, and then three, four, five. So that bar slowed down. Then you're just going to be straight in to the chorus again, and we're going to repeat. If you want to see the full tabs, they are available for free on Songster. That's all I'm going to be teaching you today. Uh, subscribe for more arrangements tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video. Um.